In the diagram below, ABCD is a quadrilateral. E is a point on AD such that AE is the same as AB. Okay, so those two lengths are the same. And then uh, EC is the same as uh, CD. So those are the same. Now, uh, let's see, let's see. D is 2X, B1 is X, okay. And then AD is parallel to BC. So these two lines are parallel. All right, so the first question for four marks says, what is the value of x? Now, you cannot say that this angle and this angle is the same because this is not a parallelogram. They said it's a quadrilateral. So what we could do is, okay, you see here we've got an isosceles triangle, right? What is an isosceles triangle? An isosceles triangle is one where uh, two sides are the same. Two sides are the same, okay? So if two sides are the same, then two angles are the same. Now, which two angles? Well, it would be the two angles that are um, opposite those sides. So it'll be um, that one, and it would be that one. Okay, so that's how we will start. We will say that angle E1 is gonna be the same as angle B1, and they're both then gonna be equal to X. And the reason is, is that we have equal, now there's different ways that people write this, but one of them is that we have equal, uh, or you could even say equal angles opposite equal sides. So we have equal angles because they are opposite equal sides. So this is now x, okay? Now, we could use parallel lines over here, and we could say that this, whoops, we could say that this b2 is equal to x. We could say b2 is equal to x. And the reason for that is that we have alternating angles, and that is because AD is parallel to BC, okay? And so that's X. Now we're gonna do the exact same process on this triangle because this triangle is also isosceles. So we know then that this angle will be the same as this angle. So we could say um, angle E3 is the same as angle D, and that is because of, once again, and they, oh, they're both equal to 2x, and that's once again because of equal angles opposite equal sides. So this is now 2x. We can then use alternating angles, and that would show us that this is now 2x, but let's go write it down. So C2 is 2x. Why? Alt angles. Why? Because AD is parallel to BC. Now, if you look inside this triangle, what should all of those angles add up to? Well, they should add up to 180. So we could say that angle E2 plus angle B2 plus angle C2 must add up to 180, and that is because of the sum of angles in a triangle. And so E2 is 90, B2 is x, C2 is 2x, like that. Now you can go and solve for x. Okay, so let's just write that down, 90. Now 2x plus 2x is 3x. Okay, and then if you had to get x by itself, you would say 180 minus 90, and so 3x would be equal to 90, and so x would be equal to 30. Okay, now, so we know that x is now 30, so we can go put that in as 30, this would be 60, uh, this would be 60, and this would be 30, and this would be 60, and this would be 30. The next one says that prove that this shape is a parallelogram. So there are four ways that you can prove something is a parallelogram. Is let me tell you what those four ways are. You either need to prove that both pairs of the opposite sides are equal. So like you have to prove that these two sides are the same, and then you have to prove that these two sides are the same. Okay, that's what that means. So you have to do it for both pairs. You could also do both pairs whoops, of opposite sides are parallel. So you don't have to do both. You only have to do one of these. And then the other option is you could prove that um, the opposite, both pairs of opposite angles are equal. Both pairs of opposite angles are equal. Okay. Or you could prove that one pair of opposite sides equal and parallel. So you could prove that one pair of opposite sides 
So, so instead of choosing both pairs, you can choose one pair, but then you have to say equal, and you have to show that they're parallel. Okay, now you only have to use one of these. So, so it depends, each question depends uh, when making the decision of which one to use. So I think the angle one is gonna work best for this. Okay, the angle. So we need to prove that this angle and this angle is the same, and then we need to prove that this angle and this angle is the same. So we can already see that this angle is 60 and this angle is 60. Okay, so we can say that angle uh, ABC, which is ABC, so it's this whole angle, is already the same as angle D, because they are both equal to 60 degrees. Okay, so we've got those two, fantastic. Now we just need to show that these two angles are the same. So to do that, we're first gonna have to go work out angle A, so we can just work in this triangle over here, and we could say that angle A plus angle E1 plus angle B1 must add up to 180, and that is just because of sum um, of angles in a triangle. And so that's gonna be um, angle A plus angle E1 plus 30 plus 30 equals to 180, and so angle A is gonna be 120 degrees. Okay, now we're gonna go work out this angle, but to do that we need C1 first, and to do that we can just work in this triangle. So we could say that angle E3 plus angle D plus angle C1 must add up to 180. Once again, sum angles triangle. So then we could say 60 plus 60 plus angle C1 and if you had to work out angle C1, you would end up with 180 minus 60 minus 60, and angle C1 would be 60. So if you then had to look at this whole angle, C1, or let's just call it DCB, DCB. So angle DCB would then be uh, 120 degrees. And so look at this now, we've got that this would be 120, and this is 120. So we've got this, these two equal, and these two are equal. So this thing is a parallelogram. So we can say therefore, A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Now your teacher might write it like that, or P, A, R, M, I'm not sure. And the reason is, is that, and the reason that you could use is that the opposite angles of the quadrilateral are equal. And the reason that we can give is both um, pairs of opposite angles equal. 